today i am going to discuss redox reaction balancing in acidic medium let us see today's reaction potassium dichromate ferrous oxalate the reaction is conducted in acidic medium suppose sulfuric acid the products are potassium sulfate then chromic sulfate then ferric sulfate then from this carbon dioxide and water now we are going to learn how to balance this reaction in this reaction this is a reductant and this is oxidant so here reductant is ferrous oxalate that occurs oxidation half reaction through release of electrons in this way ferrous oxalate it releases three electrons ferrous oxalate releases three electrons in this way in ferrous oxalate iron is two plus ion ferrous ion it changes to ferric ion releasing one electron then oxalate ion this is oxalate ion divalent oxalate ion it releases two electrons and as a result two carbon dioxide molecules are formed so ferrous oxalate releases total three electrons one electron here two electrons so total three electrons as a result ferrous oxalate changes to ferric ion and two molecules of carbon dioxide are formed this is equation number 1 now oxidant in this reaction potassium dichromate is oxidant that occurs reduction half reaction through acceptance of electrons oxidant potassium dichromate accepts electrons in this way potassium dichromate accepts six electrons here oxidation number of chromium is plus 6 14 2 two chromium atoms so oxidation number of chromium here plus 6 this chromium changes to chromium 3 plus ion accepting three electrons but here there are two chromium atoms two chromium atoms accept six electrons and as a result 
two chromium three plus ion are formed. So potassium dichromate accepting six electrons changes to products. But before this, these seven oxygen atoms need 14 protons to form water. These 14 protons came from sulfuric acid because this reaction is in acidic medium. So sulfuric acid provides protons here. As a result, the products are 2 potassium plus, then chromium, 2 chromium 3 plus ion plus these 7 oxygen atoms turn into 7 molecules of water. This is equation number 2. Now we see that in equation 1 there are 3 electrons and in equation 2 there are 6 electrons. To equalize this number of electrons, equation 1 is multiplied by 2 and then this is added to equation 2. That is equation 1 is multiplied by 2 and then this is added to equation 2. Now we get 2 ferrous oxalate plus 6 electrons. Here it will be minus 6 electrons. 2 ferric ions plus 4 carbon dioxide molecules. Then from this equation we can write potassium dichromate plus 6 electrons plus 14 protons. On the right side we get 2 potassium plus plus 2 chromium 3 plus ions plus 7 molecules of water. Adding to these equations we can write potassium dichromate plus 2 ferrous oxalate. This 6 electrons will cut these 6 electrons plus 14 protons on the right side 2 potassium plus plus 2 chromium 3 plus ions plus 2 ion 3 plus ions plus 4 carbon dioxide molecules plus 7 water molecules. Now, providing necessary ions to this equation, we can write potassium dichromate plus 2 ferrous oxalate plus here necessary ion is sulfate ion. So from 7 sulfuric acid molecules we get 14 protons that is 14 protons mean 7 molecules of sulfuric acid. Here two potassium ions that is one molecule of potassium sulfate 
plus two chromium three plus ions. It means chromic sulfate plus two ferric ions. It means ferric sulfate. Then four carbon dioxide molecules and seven water molecules. That is, we got here two, seven, four, seven. Balanced equation, redox reaction balancing. Thanks for watching.